I've got a quick question. Um, so we make a lot of Land Rover. I guess our vehicles, uh, our race vehicles, are more expedition vehicles, etc. Camel Trophy. We've got the Ruta Maya out there, and it's a preservation versus um, restoration thing. We've got old stickers. We've got old painting. My friend Ike over here has Steve McQueen's X truck, which has Von Dutch pinstriping on it. So. Where do you find another friend that's got an old worn, from a worn um, winch competition, and that W you can just barely see there on there. Now, to me, I say, leave it, it made it, that's barely where you can see it, but in the community, where, where does that come about in terms of leaving it be and letting her have all her scratches and wrinkles and all that versus bringing it back up to you know sort of an as new just as it left for the for the for the camel trail for the event etc yeah it's another it's another great question thank you for that so if you took if you took if you had, if you had three trucks of equal specification and you had one with eight thousand miles and it had been garage its entire life and just driven on the sunniest days and then you had a truck that had two hundred thousand miles and had never been faithfully maintained and then lived outside or you had a truck that was that was somewhere in the middle and a, and, a, and a, something been used but and then it was restored and restored perfectly you're going to have three different people who would desire that truck and you're going to have three different valuations because the parameters are so wide so one thing that in the modern day collector car market we're seeing is a huge huge draw to preservation vehicles a vehicle where either either it is in incredible shape um, because it wasn't used, or it is a, a truck that has a great level of patina to it. It's been outside, it's been used, but it's all original. It's never been in a big accident, never had crappy paintwork done to it. It's still got traditional paint, but even if it's falling off or there's some corrosion, we really find that there's a lot of people drawn to those vehicles because they're a little bit easier to identify with and quantify than a restored vehicle. 